certainly a bird. It is uh, the heron, the grey heron, and a juvenile version thereof, sitting above what is a very full Weirtella Dam, which is quite cool to see. And I think that this heron is searching out the frogs that are calling, or were calling, just below where he's sitting. He looks like he's had a very good meal indeed. He's got a very full crop. And I think during the course of the day, if I was a heron, this would be a perfect place for me to be. I wouldn't be moving too far from here. There seems to be lots to eat as a result of the water. I do apologize for losing a bit of signal back then. We've got a couple of technical glitches going on. And of course, that's what makes this show really quite, um, well, essential. The more that we know our daily safaris, the technical difficulties of doing what we do are quite astounding and well beyond my understanding. So I thank you for your patience. And I thank you also for being nice to David. Apparently you were nice to him, so that's important. Please keep being nice to him for the course of the day. Of course, 99.999% of you who watch the show are, in fact, very nice to us all the time. Now, I've got actually something quite interesting to say to you, and that is that I don't think that that is a grey heron. I suspected that it might be one of these, but that's very unusual for this area. I think that's the juvenile black-headed heron. Look at the legs. The legs are grey. I'm not sure if that's a first or not for Safari Live. It's certainly a first for me on Safari Live. And so while you're looking at the bird, I'll just tell you what features we're watching out for there. We're looking out for the grey legs. We're looking out for the yellowish eye. The greyish beak. Uh, there's a yellow tinge to the beak though, which is making me slightly confused. But that head is distinctive. The head there is very distinctive of the grey of the black headed heron. I think that's very cool, everybody. That's not the bird we first saw. The first one, of course, was definitely a bird of prey, which I guessed was a brown snake eagle. Hmm. So please tell me if you think that was if this is perhaps your first view of the black-headed heron on Safari Live. It's not a rare bird, but it's unusual for this area. Hmm. I'm just checking here. I'm just reading. <laughs> yes. Yes, that's him. Ah, that's very nice. Now, Fuzzman Sparkles, excellent name that you have, of course. You say that first you had a Goliath heron with Taylor the other day. That's very cool to see in this area. Again, not uncommon in the sort of more well... There's the dab check. You see that little...